Martin has been practicing meditation for nearly 20 years now. And as he's demonstrated, he's got a pretty good control, in fact, an exceptional degree of control over his brainwaves. Recently, I introduced Martin to the yoga practice of Bastrika, which means bellows breath. And he found that only a short practice of this gave him a very similar, if shortened, experience of meditation similar to what he's already achieved. So Martin wants to demonstrate Bastrika so that you can taste that wonderful quietness of mind and it can give you an aim, a goal, a reference point to use in your own practice. Martin's sitting comfortably here in a meditation position and he's just aware of his own breathing. Bellows breath is abdominal breathing and it can be nice if you're just beginning to bring your hand onto your belly so that you can feel that as you breathe in your belly expands and as you breathe out your belly contracts. For a reference point Put your other hand on your chest so you can feel that your chest is relatively still. Now when we practice the bellows breath it's active breathing so rather than your abdomen passively expanding and contracting with your breath in bellows breath it's actively drawing the belly out to suck air into your body and contracting pressing the belly in to push air out of your body. So the volume and the rate of your breathing increases. So in a way it's hyperventilating. So when you practice this, it's important to stay relaxed. And it's also important to avoid any feeling of dizziness or nausea. If you feel that, just stop straight away. As you practice, your capacity will increase and those feelings will go away. Bastarica, because of a slight amount of uh, danger in that regard, is best learned from a teacher. So, a good way to practice Bastarica is to practice first through the left nostril, then through the right, then through both. So, the hand position normally used is to bring the thumb and the tip of the ring finger to the bridge of your nose, gently move it down to the top of the soft part of the nose. So we first two fingers resting on the brow and your little closing finger the right closing nostril and ten pumps of Bastarica through the left. I recommend starting slowly and then building up your tempo till you find your comfortable limit. And after your 10th out breath, change nostrils and 10 pumps through your right nostril. Perhaps you can hear the wind around us at the moment, maybe the world's practicing Bastrika at the same time. And after 10 breaths out through the right nostril, you rest your hand down and practice 20 pumps through both. It's been written that when a master of Basvika practices it's like there's a tornado in the room. It's a very cleansing practice. It's a very warming practice. It's fine to get really hot while you practice this. In fact, it's therapeutic for you. After 20 pumps of Bastrika, the 20th out breath, bring your palms to your knees and breathing out completely, bring chin to chest, moving forwards into chin lock, lifting pelvic floor, urinary tract anus into mulad mulband and lifting up the abdominal wall into udyan band holding there for as long as you comfortably can. You'll find that because there's so much oxygen in your body, you can maintain this for some time. When you feel you want to release, and remember never strain, release from the bottom up. So releasing the root lock, then the abdominal lock, then the chin lock, and then just sit quietly. Enjoy the quietening of the mind.
facing. Just sitting. Here it's easy to keep a clear, spacious mind free from thought. So I hope you enjoy the practice of Bastrika. You're welcome to send any questions.